Hello everybody. In this screencast, we're going to look at how to use the, the fragment manager to uh, navigate from one fragment to the other and so on. Yeah. So let's say we, um, this is the code that we used uh, in the last screencast. And basically uh, the fragment has an interface and in that interface, it uh, defines these methods. One of them is send the user, send the username and go to settings. And in the activity, it implements the interface, and uh, this is this one sends the this method sends the username to the activity, and this one tells it go to the settings. Okay, so basically, if I want to go to the settings, let's say we have another fragment. Create another fragment. Here it is, and a blank fragment. We call it the settings fragment. Right? Here's the settings fragment, and uh, I'm just gonna edit one quick thing here in on on create view I'll say on view created and then I'm going to change get activity dot set title to settings fragment okay all right so here is the settings fragment I just it's very straightforward I didn't do much now in the layout for the home fragment I'm gonna change it and add another button go to settings so I'm going to go here add another button under this one and this one will go to settings. So let me uh, pull up the emulator, attributes. Here's the button, uh, one. And this one, when I click on it, I would like to go to the settings screen. So I'm going to say button, settings. All right, here it is. And we'll call it settings. Here it is. Okay, so when you click on this button, you need to go to the settings. So now if we go back to the home fragment, so this button is where? Is in the home fragment. This is the home fragment, fragment home. Here's the home fragment. Now if we run it, and let me run the attributes, and here it is. There is a button called settings. Okay, cool. Now go back, go back to the home fragment. Now we go into the on view created binding dot. There is a settings button now dot set on click listener new. So now when you click on that button, I'll just say mlistener dot go to settings. This is the method that we defined here. Okay. So now that will take me here. Right. Here, what I would like to do is that I would like to replace the fragment that is being displayed on the main activity to replace the home fragment with the settings fragment. So this is how you add something. So I could just go in and say get support fragment manager dot begin transaction and then dot commit right. and then here. What do you want to add? I want to replace. Replace where you want to replace and what do you want to use as the replacement? So basically here are dot id dot container view. That's where in the main activity you want to replace new settings. Fragment. Okay. So now what is happening right now is that in the uh, home fragment, you are clicking the button. That button triggers, see here, all what the button does, it triggers go to settings m listener dot go to settings m listener is the uh, home listener which is implemented by the main activity right and it comes here and go to settings get support fragment manager begin transaction replace and commit all right so when we run this the support fragment manager allows you to control uh, and to communicate with fragments that are on the screen so here it is i click on settings it replaced it with the settings fragment. Very straightforward. Now, if you go back, it it, uh, it it disables because what happens is that the activity only had had the home fragment, right? And then what happened is that when you replaced it, it just removed the home fragment and replaced it by the settings fragment. So, what you could do is that what if you would like when you click back is to go back to the home fragment, like when you click here. When you click back, you want to go to the home fragment. All you need to do is you do you add this add back stack, and that's null to tell it this is the default back stack. So the back stack, what it's going to do is that it's going to replace whatever is on the screen with the settings fragment, and will take whatever was fragment what was on the screen and put it on the back stack, such that when you click back, it <coughs> it goes to it pops it from the back stack and displays it. So let's see. So here we are settings we are here and click back 
home fragment settings back home fragment this is all because of the backslash okay please let me know if you have any questions